I wanted to mention something before the credits, before the, the news and all that stuff. Um, I wanted to talk about something that I think is important and um, underappreciated, underrated, and um, um, un unfortunate. And uh, Jeffrey Collins. I don't know if you guys know him. He's been on the show. Um, uh, Gary Collins, sadly, tragically passed away la um, last month. And I found out on Saturday or on Sunday. I found out on Sunday, and it matters because uh, he was a sure he was a friend of the show. He was uh, on the show a couple times. We crossed paths a lot of times, but most people don't even know. It's not even public knowledge. I was Gary Collins's producer for his show. He never mentioned me by name, being the selfish asshole that he was. Uh, just kidding. No, Gary was great. Gary was awesome to work with. I worked with him. Um, Produced a almost like just under a hundred episodes for Gary. Um, episode eighty-two, I believe, is when I started working for him, and then uh, at episode one eighty, I think, is when it was the last one that I did for him. He did two more episodes after that, and then died. And we're going to talk about him a bit because, um, so Gary was an awesome dude. He was a a vet formerly in the navy i don't know i don't i'm not gonna like break down his entire life like an obituary or anything but my experience with gary was um I, I i did not just his production i did like his artwork i did his posts i did his videos i did pretty much anything that was like um visual stuff or audio stuff i was doing for gary up until a couple episodes before he passed i found out that he died on sunday as i mentioned and um, it, I, I didn't, I took it very unsurprisingly well. Very, very surprisingly unwell, I, I guess is the way to put that. I cried a lot. I cried an amount that is more uncomfortable for, that than is more comfortable. I cried more than is comfortable for me to even say that I did about Gary's passing. And it wasn't just because Gary died. It was because I couldn't uh, I, I didn't want to think about Gary being in that low of a spot in his life um, because I was pretty convinced my my first guess my first inclination as somebody who knew him well um, as well as one can know Gary I suppose being the loner that he was but I was convinced pretty quickly um, Gary killed himself and Gary was all about his entire thing was about living simply it was about making other people's lives better. He, he dev devoted his entire life to helping people. He, he was against like the self-help guru shit, like the fake kitschy stuff. He was like, get your shit together and here's how you do it. Um, he was he was real. He was honest about the whole thing. And um, I know that by the end of his life, Gary was um, really sick of all of this. All the stuff that we're about to talk about, all the stuff that we talk about every week on this show, he was just sick of it. Justifiably so. Um, and I can only imagine the mental state that you would be in, uh, or what y mental state you would have to be in to be a self-help person in the year 2022. And I use self-help uh, very loosely here because um, that's not, he didn't like that phrase. So, um, yeah, I, I thought he, I thought he killed himself. Turns out I don't think he did now, thankfully. I found out. The next day or whenever um remzo martinez if you guys know remzo has been uh digging he was a good friend of uh gary's as well and he was digging into he found out uh first as far as like all of us go there were some there like you can go find the story i, I guess i can give like the brief explanation as to I, what i found out the next day was that he was on a trip he was on a vacation to meet with friends and go to a sports ball game and he didn't show up he showed up the night before but then he didn't show up at the game and they found him, um, he died peacefully in his sleep, it seems, from what they say is natural causes, I suppose. They haven't, uh, there was no, they say that there was no foul play, there was nothing there, and I, I don't have a reason to suspect that there was. Um, he, uh, it, from what, the, the best explanation so far that we've heard is that he died of, um, like, carbon monoxide poisoning or, or something like that. So I, I I broke down in thinking that this guy who it's kind of like when Robin Williams died like it, it yes it's not just because he was an actor that you enjoyed his work of it's because of what you what they put into the world and thinking that my God 
if I like, I don't want to live in a world where Robin Williams kills himself. And I know there's conspiracy theories around that as well, whether or not he did. But it seems like, uh, thankfully, Gary did not actually. And I'm very, it, as weird as it is to say, I'm very glad to know, or glad to find out that he probably did not. So, um, we're gonna we're gonna look at a couple things of Gary's just kind of in memory before we we do anything here because. N- uh, nobody most people don't know gary <laughs> like most people uh they they see they might seem on the podcast like his podcast wasn't huge it was bigger than mine but it wasn't huge um but he was i, I think he was more honest than any of the self-help people or any of the the get your life together people um and he was just trying to make the world a better place and um yeah so i, I don't know i'm rambling but uh, we'll watch a, a couple things from gary here uh, Gary was on the show on this show uh, back episode two forty two talking about uh, no one wants to work anymore and they deserve nothing. Um, so Gary was yes. admittedly a crotchety old bastard. Um, like he we he was like the the grumpy uncle, um, but in a fun and funny way. And he was uh, um, he cared. He he really cared. Uh, so he he was all about like you know get your shit together. If you want money, go work for money. Um, he talked about the the three legged stool. I would really suggest people go dig into his archives, his podcast called The Simple Life, his books, all the things. Go dig into it because that will. Now, like at this point, knowing that he didn't kill or seeming like he didn't kill himself, um, the biggest tragedy is that his everything that he worked toward ended with him, and there's nobody to like carry on the legacy. It, we're we're. Remzo and some people are trying to work on making sure his books stay accessible on Amazon and stuff like that. Um, so, like, go do it because the, the, all he wanted, like, at this, he always said, "I have nothing to gain. I'm not trying to get rich. I'm not doing this for myself. I'm doing this to help make the world a better place." And now it's like he's not doing it anymore, obviously, but he's definitely not trying to, to do it for money now. So I'm not saying this because anybody even benefits from this except for you. But go read his books. Go listen to his podcast. Um, and hopefully they will stay archived so people can. But um, there, there was that. I we're not gonna watch this. I might show it later, maybe in the after party or something. But this is when um, Joe Rogan was uh, Joe Rogan got in trouble for the N words clip or something like that, and um, he apologized for it. And we made it. We made a video um, dogging on Joe Rogan. Um, yeah, we'll save that because we got a lot to do today. But um, Gary's last episode that he put out. Um, which was like th- the third one after I was done working with him. Um, it was titled uh, Episode 182, Doing the Right Thing When Everything Seems Wrong. Um, and it's a, the whole episode is just about how, yeah, the world is going to shit. And also, um, that doesn't mean, that doesn't give you justification to join the other side, to go dark. Gary was always hopeful. Even when he saw that uh, that everything was going to shit, he was still hopeful. Um, this episode was posted on August 31st, and he was found dead on September 3rd, I believe, three days later. So we'll watch a couple clips from this episode, and uh, then we'll, we'll get into the more lighthearted stuff. Um, Gary, uh, Gary was all about making jokes uh, at the darkest of things, so... Um, yeah, we're we're gonna get we're gonna get real disrespectful on on <laughs> right after this. We're gonna we're gonna talk about some real uh, uncomfortable things some more. But I do think it's important to like like I said, Gary was a loner. Gary literally like built a a house in the middle of nowhere in Arizona, and he was a hermit and lived by himself. He was all about the off grid living stuff. I know he wasn't always off grid, and he wasn't always like out in the middle of nowhere. But he kept to himself. He he had a very private life. And uh, so I, I think it's important to give him a shout out since uh, not a lot of people probably will. I could be wrong. I don't know. I did, I, I, he was so reserved that I don't know how many friends Gary had. I'm sure he had a lot of friends, but they were all very compartmentalized individual friends, it seems like. Uh, but anyway, we're going we're gonna to watch some of Gary's last words because uh, this was, uh, to my knowledge so far, uh, this was the last thing that Gary recorded before he, he died. So here's this. Think about it. There's ways to play the game without being dishonest, without being a bad person. You can be a good person, still play the game and play it right. That's what it's about. Life is a game in a way. I don't mean this. Play it to win. Don't play it to lose and don't play it to be a loser. All right? Let's play it to win and be good people doing the right thing. 
busting our ass and, and and know when you look in the mirror every morning that you look and you go, you know what? I'm okay. I'm all right with this. And that's how I live my life. I want to make sure every time I wake up in the morning that I go, I'm, I'm fighting the good fight. You know, I'm not looking over my shoulder. I'm not worried about, you know, things going that far wrong. I'll fix it. I'll figure it out. Well, we got to do that as a collective. We got to do that as a group. And, and I hope, and I've always told, I talked about this too. Don't, don't, re, don't rely on your politicians to fix the problems. We've already seen what they've caused. That's why I preach. It starts with us. We're part of the problem. I talked about this in the last episode, the episode before that, if we don't fix our shit first, it doesn't matter who you elect. It doesn't matter. Your house has to be in order in order for this to change has to we've lost it period we're off track as americans and as humans got to get back on track that means we got to fix our stuff we got to fix it first stop putting the cart before the horse it starts and ends with us the government doesn't exist without us remember that it's here to serve us not us to serve it we need to get this back on track we need to get this get ethics in line and and people thinking that they get a free ride just for existing no no more of that we need to stop that but make sure to send your emails no i'm not going to send you my emails you're dead gary see i told you I'll, I'll, I, sorry i got to get back into lighthearted mode cuz we're going to talk about some terrible things in a moment and i got to be able to make jokes about those even though uh, this is a sad thing that's 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 how this show works um, I do have one more clip from Gary. This was the, after all of his plugs and everything. This was um, the the last thing that Gary ever said on his podcast. So here's that. I'm not here to get rich. I don't need to be one of the richest people in the country. I don't care for that. It's not my goal <laughs> by any stretch, obviously. But uh, again, I appreciate you. And I, I, I really hope that you guys enjoy what I do. I really do because it, I do this to help. And I'm not perfect. I'm not the all-knowing. I'm not, I'm not here to create a bunch of Gary's. That's not the point. I'm just here to do the best I can. And that's all we can ask of all of us. Just do the best you can. Fight the fight. Wake up in the morning. Put the boots on. Get to work. Keep chugging. Don't give up. All right, guys. Talk to you later. He wouldn't. He wouldn't talk to you later. No. Um, <laughs> uh, yeah, man. Gary did and knowing that gary fought the good fight knowing that gary did not quit gary did not give up um it makes me happy in some ways um and it makes me especially like i i honestly there's a part of me that's like you know if gary was gonna go out and he went out in the best way possible for as far as i can tell so far he went out in the best way possible um and um he does. He doesn't have to deal with any of this shit anymore. So, um, the I mean, it's a dark way to to say I'm happy for him in some ways. Honestly, I am. Um, because yeah, it was it was tough. It was a tough life, and um, yeah, I I certainly do miss him. I wish he didn't die, but uh, I'm glad it wasn't uh, what I expected or I suspected. So. There's that. Gary uh, Gary did not give up. Gary did not quit. And I would recommend that you go dig into his stuff and learn more about how to also not quit and not give up. Because, uh, yeah. Rest in peace, Gary Collins. Um, you will be missed by many. Or at least me. I'll make my